Good morning, boys and girls. How are you? Today is Monday. We have just entered our last week of distance learning. This will be our last week. So if you're feeling tired, you're over it, give it one last push. You can do it, okay? There are four days left of reading and math papers. And then on Friday, there's something fun and different for you guys to do at home with your families, okay? So one last good push. We've got five days left, okay? You can do it. I know you can. You've gone, what's today? Today's day 39. You've gone 39 days. You can do it. I know you can. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Are you ready? Today is May 11th, 2020. Good morning. Today is Monday. Who was your PE teacher? Who was your music teacher? It will be a great day. I can and I will. Love, Mrs. Forrester. So I ask you two questions on the board. I asked you who was your PE teacher and who was your music teacher? Because I told you Friday's activity in your packet is a memory book. Okay, it's a memory book, so in a couple of years you can look at it and remember your kindergarten year and what a year it was. So one of the, two of the questions ask who your PE teacher was and who your music teacher was. So it's been a couple of weeks since you've seen them. Do you remember your PE teacher's name? Yeah, I hear a lot of coach. His last name is Slater, Coach Slater, but you can definitely write Coach. Do you remember who your music teacher was? Yeah, Mr. Holder, good. And I know we have a couple of other um, special teachers, but we will talk about them later in the week, okay? So your PE teacher was Coach Slater and your music teacher was Mr. Holder, okay? so. Lock that into your brain so you remember it for Friday, okay? We're not going to circle any sight words this week. Um, we will review them like normal, but we're going to skip circling them, at least for today. But we will find these. Remember, we are looking at punctuation right now, and this is a punctuation mark. It goes at the end of a sentence. What is this one called? Yes, a question mark. And remember, we use question marks when we've asked a question. Do you see any question marks on my board? Me too. I see two of them because I asked you two questions today. I said, who was your PE teacher? And I said, who was your music teacher? Good. Okay, what about this one? This is the one where we're really excited. Yes, it's an exclamation point. Your turn. Good. Do you see an exclamation point on my board? Yeah, we do. It will be a great day. I can and I will. There they are. We remember we used to be so loud when we would say those in the room. Okay, last one. What is this one called? Mm hmm. It's a period. Good. Everybody say it. Good. Period. Do I have any periods on my board today? I only have one. I you can kind of see it. There's a little bit of a glare, but right there right after Monday. I'm just stating that today is Monday. Just stating it for you. Good stuff. Okay. We're a little out of order since we're not doing uh, circling sight words. So let's do those now before I somehow forget. Ready? Ears on. Saw. Saw. S-A-W. Saw. Little. Little. L-I-T-T-L-E. Little. Little, under, under, U-N-D-E-R, under, will, will, W-I-L-L, will, good, good, G-O-O-D, 
Good. Eat, eat, E A T, eat. Ride, ride, R I D E, ride. Find, find, F I N D, find. Down, down, D O W N, down. Into, into, I N T O, into. Must, must, M U S T, must. R, R, O U R, R. Jump, jump, J U M P, jump. New, new, N E W, new. Now, now, N O W, now. Please, please, P L E A S E, please. She, she, S H E, she, get, get, G E T, get, funny, <laughs> funny, <laughs> F U N N Y, funny. Last one, say, say, S A Y, say. Good job, repeating ears. Off, rocking job. Okay, on Friday, it was day 38. So I should have had three bundles, which I do. One, two, three. I couldn't remember which one I counted. And then I should have had eight single pencils. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I do. So that means that today is day what? Friday was 38. So today would be 30, would be 39. So I'm gonna take my pencil and I'm gonna put it in the single pile, which will then go into the single cup. If today is 39, how many more until I have a bundle? I have nine single pencils. How many more until I have a bundle? Yeah, just one more, because I have nine and I need 10, nine, 10. So that means tomorrow we'll make a bundle and we'll put it into the tens bucket. That will be our last bundle of distance learning. Okay, will be our last bundle. We will have uh, four bundles and then some other single pencils. Good stuff. Okay, let's go ahead and do our sounds. Are you ready? We're gonna turn our ears on, our repeating ears on, and we'll do our sounds. Here we go. H, huff, hat. G, ga, game. J, ja, jug. D, da, dog. S, s snake. N, nut. T, ta, top. P pup hand, Viva van, R er rat, Ella lamp, M man, B ba bat, A a apple, C ka cat, E a ed, Y ya yellow. O a uh, octopus. U a uh, up. I I itch. X x fox. K k kite. F f uh, fun. Q q qu queen. Z z zebra. W w Wind, 
Good job. Repeating ears off. Okay. All righty. This week, if we were at school, we would have been talking about the ocean. We would have been talking about the ocean. We would have been talking about a bunch of different animals that live in the ocean, and it would have been super fun. So we are going to do that during our distance learning today. Um, we are going to read, take me to the ocean. Take me to the ocean. Okay. Let me see if I can make it a little bit bigger. There we go. Take me to the ocean. So this book is going to talk about some of the different animals we might see in the ocean. Okay. Some animals that we might see. So it says in blue is the title, Take Me to the Ocean. And it's created by Greg Smeadley Warren. Okay, so he would be the author. Um, he made the book for us. Uh, I get a lot of our resources from him. I like his stuff. Okay, page one. Will you take me to the ocean where I can see an octopus with eight arms? So this is an octopus and he has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight arms. Eight arms. I wonder what else you know about an octopus. Will you take me to the ocean where I can see a jellyfish with no brain? Oh, that's crazy. I wonder what else you know about jellyfish. Will you take me to the ocean where I can see a seahorse daddy have babies? Mm -hmm, you heard that right, in seahorses, the dads have babies. With humans, the moms have babies. Well, that's different. There's our seahorse. I love the tails on seahorses. I love how they curve around. They use that to hold on to different things in the ocean. Will you take me to the ocean where I can see a sea star grow a new leg if he loses a leg? Did you guys hear that? Will you take me to the ocean where I can see a sea star Grow a new leg. Grow a new leg if he loses a leg. So that means that if his leg were to come off or some, like another animal were to like eat, try to eat him, you know, or he'd lose it for whatever reason, they can regrow their legs. How cool would it be if we could regrow our legs? Will you take me to the ocean where I can see a dolphin that is a mammal? A mammal, well, we are mammals, just like um, dolphins are. Will you take me to the ocean where I can see a puffer fish that is poisonous to humans? Poisonous means we can't, we couldn't eat it or anything. It would make us sick. I think of, when I think of puffer fish, if you've ever seen Finding Nemo, um, the, the fish that's in the tank and he like blows up when he gets stressed out, that's a puffer fish. I always think of him when I hear puffer fish because I think he's hilarious. Will you take me to the ocean where I can see a squid that has the biggest eyes in the ocean? That is a big eye. Oops. Will you take me to the ocean where I can see a lobster that can live to be 100 years old? That's old, you guys. That's cool. Will you take me to the ocean where I can see a manatee that is related to the elephant? They're related to the elephants. I wonder how, I don't know much about that. Will you take me to the ocean where I can see a turtle, sea turtle that can hold his breath for 30 minutes? Holding his breast, breast breath, excuse me, for 30 minutes. That's such a long time. Okay, so in this book, we talked about sea, uh, sea turtles, manatees, lobsters, squid, puffer fish, dolphins, sea stars, oops, oh my goodness, seahorses, jellyfish, and octopi, or we talked about a octopus. Okay, so those are just some of the animals in the ocean, just some of them. 
we'll, uh, I don't know if we'll talk about any animals specifically this week, but we'll talk a little bit more about oceans as we continue our week, our last week of distance learning talking about oceans. So that is our lesson for today. But before I go, I wanted to wish the June birthdays a happy, happy birthday. So that is Alana, whose birthday is on June 1st and Kate, whose birthday is on June 15th. I hope you guys have a great birthday. I know we're about a month ahead of that, but I wanted to make sure that everyone got recognized for their birthday. So that's why we did Riley on Friday. We're talking about Alana and Kate today. So Alana and Kate, I hope you have a great birthday when June finally rolls around. Everyone else, I hope you have a super great, awesome little Redbird Monday, as Miss Porter would say, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye, friends.